What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Do you want to get your hands on one of these diamond camos? Well, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that you're going to require to do so. So for the diamond camos, this gun right here was definitely the one that takes the cake for the hardest challenges I've ever done in Call of Duty for a specific camo. I will tell you why in just a minute, but before we get into that, I'm going to go over the assault rifles because they weren't all that difficult. So to begin, let's just go through the, the challenges quickly. You have your 200 kills with assault rifles. You have your 160 headshots. Um, not very difficult. I never had too much trouble with this uh, just through playing. The only tip I can give you, headshots if you're struggling, move over to hardcore. They are a one hit kill with most of these guns. So uh, that being said, you have your 25 long shots, your 50 kills while ADS, and your 50 kills with no attachments. Very, very similar to Black Ops 3. And then your double kills and three kills in one life. Now this one seems to be a bit bugged. You do get this uh, very quickly. And sometimes I feel like I only got two kills in one life and somehow would get this. Might have been an afterlife kill before the uh, in the death before. So I'm not sure how bugged it is or if it is bugged, but it seemed to happen rather quickly. That being said, there are two assault rifles that do give you some trouble. This R3K uh, doesn't have the stability that I think a three round burst should have. It's getting beat at range by fully auto assault rifles which is insane. I think a three round burst should have incredible accuracy. Um, so hopefully that gets buffed in the near future. The only recommendation I have that does help out with the headshots for this gun is the common variant. If you use the common variant, it has an increased ability that did help me tremendously. So that's the one tip I can give you. The other one that was challenging was the type two. This one, you just, you have to play at a certain range that's effective for the type two. Uh, that's really the only tip I can give you. It is pretty unstable gun uh, and it is difficult to get your headshots with other than that everything else was very 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 easy to get um, and that's what brings us to the launchers now if we go to the launchers each launcher has different challenges the other two launchers weren't that hard um, but I can give you a few tips on this one because this one is incredibly incredibly difficult I found at least currently with how the game plays so let's go through the challenges quick you have to get kills with the weapon which isn't all that hard you can just go into hardcore and uh, pump out these kills relatively quickly the one thing I found with direct impact kills is to not aim down sights it takes an extra second to aim down your sights and uh, you're usually dead before you can do that all you have to do is put these small white reticle on the guy I usually did this direct impact in regular core because it gives you uh, an extra second to get the kill and you don't die instantly um, and you have that reticle when you're not aiming in uh, to to d dial it into the guy to get that direct impact I found if you put the white dot right on him uh, and usually it turns red uh, sometimes I think it um, it goes right for him you don't even have to aim down sights very very effective uh, I found playing fast with this gun and just getting the direct impacts as you can uh, was the best method of getting these 160 direct impact kills because it is fairly hard I am kind of upset they didn't have a direct impact metal uh, to, or even a, a logo in the bottom left when you in the kill feed when you get a direct impact kill because it's very hard to tell what is and what isn't a direct impact a lot of times I would just look for the explosion to be in the air as opposed to the ground that's how I would kind of tell if it was direct impact or not um, but that's really the only complaint I have with that but moving on to these the two rapid kills wasn't all that bad not why I'm making this video and then obviously your kill 50 enemies with no primary is no different than getting just regular kills uh, 15 score streak now here is the tip I can give you for this one I'm not going to show you any gameplay for this specifically um, but all you have to do is equip an LMG and fire a full round of the RAW I believe it's called into a warden and then pull out this gun and try to get underneath the warden if you can get underneath the warden and jump and shoot you can hit the warden with this gun and I think it takes two uh, grenades after you've emptied a full clip of LMG into the warden so that being said that was the easiest way I found to get the kill streaks uh, with this specific weapon and to get your um, scarabs down equipped engineer so you can see when an enemy team equips a scarab 
you can kind of cut it off and launch your grenade in its path uh, to get that score streak as well. I found the Wardens, the Scarabs, and the Shock Sentries were the only relative way of getting this achievement, which kind of makes it difficult in itself. So that's the tip I can give you for this specific challenge, but still um, not the one that gave me the most difficulty. This three kills without dying is also relatively hard from the sounds of it, but for some reason it's still bugged like the assault rifles. I was getting it sometimes with two kills, an afterlife kill and two kills, so it doesn't sound, or it isn't as hard as it sounds, I should say. You end up getting it rather quickly. Now this one is the be-all and end-all of these challenges. It was the hardest because of this specific reason. The hitbox or the hit registration with this weapon is insanely inconsistent. As you can see in this clip, this first guy I kill, I just place a grenade near him, he dies in one hit and he didn't seem to have any damage on him prior. Now as I go over to this other enemy, I place a grenade near him just like I did the last time, it blows up, I get a hit marker but no kill. It is incredibly inconsistent on where you have to place a grenade to get a kill with this gun. Now this is what makes long range kills absolutely insane. As you can see from this next clip, this is the range that you have to be at to get a kill. This might even be a little bit short uh, from my experience, but I think I did get a long range kill there in that clip. Now. What I can recommend is a specific map and a specific side of the map where I got most of these long range kills due to where points are and just the range that enemies come around corners. So if you take a look at this next clip, let's break down some of these places that you can get your own long range kills. The map I recommend for these long shots is called Throwback and it all occurs on this left side with the silo. It's a very, very good lane at getting these long shots because it provides an angle at the C point which you can lob over this train station and get enemies trying to capture the point. Now this does require a little bit of practice, a little bit of understanding of the lob of the gun, um, but it does provide a very very good avenue of getting enemies grouped together and stationary at long range. Now there is one other spot on the map, but it's on the other side of this lane and it's looking at where I am currently standing. As you can see here, it provides a little bit more cover from enemy fire and enemies tend to sit behind these obstacles which you can lob grenades into their area. Now, the hit detection makes it very hard because you do have to somewhat hit the enemy to get a kill, which is why this achievement was so difficult. As you can see there, some frame lag as well. The frame rate at the end of that clip is a big issue on the Xbox right now. It happens every like five minutes, so I really, really, really hope they fix that in the near future. I hope it's not a console issue um, because apparently the PS does not have that issue. So hopefully that gets fixed in the near future, but I'm going to move on to this other launcher. But before we wrap it up, to give you a few tips on the other two launchers, there were one or two challenges that weren't hard, but I could give you a tip on. So this one here uh, obviously looks very, very good with the diamond camo. It might be the best looking diamond camo in the game just because of the amount of diamond that's actually on it. So uh, that's a plus for this one. But there was one challenge, which is destroy two score streaks rapidly. That was not hard, but there is a method that makes this a lot easier. It only holds free ammunition so as you can see in this clip you have to take the first uav or counter uav um, down with a full um clip of assault rifle and then finish it off with one of these bullets from this uh this launcher and then take out the second score streak with the other two bullets in the chamber because it does take two to take out a uav or a counter so that is the method that i can give you for this one challenge everything else was fairly fairly straightforward so that's not an issue either and moving on to the last launcher the spartan sa3 the only one that i can give you a tip on is the kill score streaks without locking on where is it here whiteout no it is the autumn okay so the autumn was the one where you had to kill score streaks without locking on this obviously was easier against scarabs um or even sometimes vultures but i figured out late that you can take down a uav with the launcher without locking on but you have to just use the right trigger and you have to kind of lead the uav and most likely try to be underneath it um to pull off these kills so as you can see in this clip i was having a little fun when i got my gold camo but you see it can be done 
So that being said, that wraps up our video. I hope these tips and tricks helped out. Um, I hope you guys are well on your way to getting these diamond camos. As I finish submachine guns, LMGs, snipers, and all that, if there's a gun that I had trouble with, I will post another diamond tips and tricks video video for you guys and if you did like the video definitely drop a thumbs up share it with your friends um, just so we can grow as a channel uh, and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel because we have been growing very rapidly it's very exciting and I want to bring more content like this to you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did once again drop a thumbs up and as always guys stay on the bean you do you live life your way because that's the way it's meant to be cheers you beauties and kind of removing some of the uh, the garbage score streaks uh, that no one ever used just to really refine uh, the score streak in general. So let's take a look at each one of these.